So the referee then is uh, John Coyle. Now this is under European rules at the 10-point bus system. That's uh, 10 and then 9 and the appropriate number to the loser of the round. But that's normally beyond 8. I'm surprised when the four is 15-11. I thought he'd come in perhaps over 16 stone, but uh, Alex Lewis 16-7. He only weighed 16-3 when he defeated Gary Mason in the seventh round at Wembley last month. Well, Glenn's just an articulate sort of a fellow and he's talked a good fight and let's see if he can do something with it. Alec Lewis, I want to establish himself the authority right away and he's certainly doing that. Now, he didn't do this against Mike Weaver last time up. Oh, he bangs around the ribs. He was beaten in the Cruiserweight Championship, remember, Glenn McCrory with a body punch, but that was very weight weakened. I've only 13 stone eight those days. Well, we haven't seen, we've seen on ITV nearly all of Lennox Lewis's fights. This is the liveliest start he's had to him, really, although he has had some one round wins. Well, I think tonight, Edge, he considers he's in with a cruiserweight. There's no reason he can't match straight in here and get down to business. Uh, I don't think he feels McCrory has enough power to trouble him. I, mean, I think he wants to intimidate McCrory as uh, soon as he possibly can, and he might just have managed that. He only had a 58-second win at the Albert Hall last year. He's had four in the one round, but I think this is... McCrory showed a bit of guts there. He took some good shots on the chin and uh, got himself back. Third hole to McCrory and going for Lewis. Lewis just seems so much bigger and stronger already, Reggie, doesn't he? Beating a man in Mike Weaver's caliber, admittedly very much a veteran, but he did it with a, a perfect textbook punch, a right hander in Lake Tahoe. Not getting out the line up for Corey's. Plenty of guts though. Normally he, can, he boxes a bit and can slip punches, but he can't this one. He's catching him with every kind of punch. See, Lewis, a minute to go. Lewis, there's nothing to worry about what's coming back as we emerge, and he's just moving right in, and they're uh, doing as he likes so far. He yeah, has drawn some blood already uh, from one of those uppercuts. He's throwing some artillery at him there, Lewis, the uppercuts, overarm punches. Four marks from the quarry, he's hanging in there, but for how long? Reggie, he'll have to be more mobile. He, he can't get uh, covered up and stand his ground, he's going to have to move. He thinks that was the bell, the referee. I thought I heard the bell there, though, Jim. I know it's, it isn't, it's, that, it's 21 seconds to go. It looked as though he was going to dive in, although I think he was going to pull him off the corner there, Jim. So just as the referee moved over, him, McCrory threw a couple of little punches, maybe changed his mind. But uh, this can't continue much longer, Reg. McCrory is not mobile enough, he'll have to use his legs, but already he's feeling the pace. It's the roughest I've seen, Lewis, I'll tell you that. And they're cheering, actually, McCrory surviving, I think, more than uh, Lewis's murderous round there. Well, gentleman uh, Glenn on the gown there, on the uh, tunics there of the second, and he, he certainly is. Uh, there was plenty of guts going in there, wasn't there? It's, uh, only had one recent fight as a heavyweight, and I wondered whether he really had sufficient credentials but when it comes to prove it because he's already been half promised the job uh, that's what pro boxers call getting a contest a, a contest on the tyson holyfield that show on november the 8th oh the right hand up a couple of it and john cause showing the finger count as well to make sure that he understands it perfectly get a mandatory eight Corey's been saying that Lewis hasn't really fought anybody that has his ability, but uh, Lewis has taken the play away and the fight away from him, and a long right hand. Now, that was a replica of the one that he caught. Well, he gave it all he got there just in that last half minute, Jim. There was a great fight back by McCrory, but he was uh, well, hopelessly outpunched. Well, you have to say, a very impressive action from Lewis. I mean, he... McCrory called himself a heavyweight. He came... Oh, that's... Uh, 
hard as well for what they call the cut man there, Jimmy Tibbs is in the corner, who of course was with Michael Watson last week. So look at those powerful shoulders. Uh, well, he's, carry he's carrying the sort of hopes of the nation on those shoulders, isn't he? And they're a heavyweight champion since Bob Fitzsimmons, and he never fought in this country, Cornishman. So taking the plaudits, Lennox Lewis, and rightly so. And as we look at the replays now, this is the first knockdown, Jim. Yes, yeah, see, you have to be top by just caught the edge of his chin. Yeah, that, that was, was the I said, Jim, as I said, that was almost uh, like the Weaver, the Weaver punch. I mean, he's got that right hand, like pole-axing punch, you see, bingo, it just caught him on the side of the chin there, and over he went. Well, we've had some uh, chances of the Britons fighting for the championship of the world, a long way, Gunnar Moore, Jack Palmer, Tommy Farr, Don Cockle, Brian London twice, Henry Cooper, Joe Bugner, Richard Dunn, and Frank Bruno twice. Now, can this fellow make it? He was born in West...